Hello everyone, Ashlyn Giza YouTube channel. Today we are going to talk about Mother's Day. Uh, Mother's Day is May 8th um, this year and um, in the UK it was actually in March. Um, so let's, let me get started with reading some things that I found on the web. Why was, why is, was Matt, la, la, la. why was Mother's Day started? The official Mother's Day holiday arose in the 1900s as a result of efforts of Anna Jarvis, daughter of Anne Reeves Jarvis. Following her mother's death in 1905, Anna Jarvis conceived of Mother's Day as a way of honoring sacrifices um, mothers made for their children. Mother's Day is a holiday honoring motherhood that's observed in a different forms throughout the world and the U.S. May Mother's Day will appear on Sunday, May 8th, and in the U.K., Mother's Day was already celebrated March 27th, which I knew that because I have a, actually have a friend um, uh, that lives in the U.K. Okay, celebrations of mother, mothers and motherhood can be traced back to Greeks and Romans who, who held festiv festivities in honor of mother um, goddesses, Rhea and Cybele, or Kybel. Um, I'll have to look back on how to pronounce that. But the uh, closest modern um, precedent for Mother's Day is early Christian festival known as Mothering Sunday. One, tr one major tra tradition in the UK and um, parts of Europe, this celebrates celebration fell on the fourth Sunday in Lent and was originally se seen as a time when faithful would return to their mother church, um, the main church in the vicinity of their home for a special service. Over time, Mothering Sunday tradition shifted into a more um, secular holiday and children would um, present their mothers with flowers and other tokens of appreciation. This custom eventually faded in popularity before merging with American Mother's Day in 1930 and 1940s. Mother's Day around the world. Um, so Thailand is celebrated celebrated in Mother's Day in August. They will be celebrating it on uh, in August. On the birthday of the the Queen Suri, Suri Kit or Siri Kit. Again, don't quote me on how you say her name, but it's S I R I K I T. Um, Ethiopia families gather each fall to sing songs and eat a large um, feast as a part of um, An Ancro 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 uh, Ancrogist, sorry, a multi-day celebration honoring motherhood. Um, in the U.S., Mother's Day continues to be celebrated by presenting mothers with flowers, jewelry, cards, and has become one of the highest um, holidays and or largest holidays. And families also celebrate by giving mom the day off from cooking, cleaning and other household chores. Once Mother's Day became a national holiday, it wasn't long before florists, card companies, and other merchant um, capitalized on its clout. Jarvis was actually disgusted with how the holiday was commercialized. She denounced the transformation and urged people to stop buying cards, candy, and flowers. She launched launched lawsuits against groups that used the names Mother's Day, spending most of her wealth, money, and legal fees. In 1948, she actually disowned the holiday and um, even went as far as to um, be active in lobby, lob lobs. Sorry, I don't know that word. So basically, she got with the government um, and... Um, tried to remove it from 
the American calendar. I don't know what that word was, so that's how I'm going to word it to you guys. She got with the government and tried to have Mother Di Mother's Day removed from the calendar. After Mother's Day, um, pioneers include Juliet, um, Callahan Blakey, a temperance activist who inspired a local Mother's Day in Albion, Michigan in 1870s. The duo of um, Mary Tells Sasson and Frank Her Herring both organized Mother's Day in late 19th century and both century and uh, 20th century, I meant. Some called Herring the father of Mother's Day. The official Mother's Day arose in the 1900s um, as results of efforts in Anna Jarvis, daughter of Anne Reeves Jarvis, following her mother's death. Anna got the idea of Mother's Day by honoring the sacrifices made uh, for their mothers made for their children, wearing white carnations as a badge and visiting one's mother's um, mother or attending church service services. Anne Reed, Reeve Jarvis of West Virginia helped start Mother's Day um, by t t in going to teach local women how to properly care for children. In 1868, Jarvis organized Mother's um, Friendship Day at which mothers gathered with former Union and Confederate soldiers to um, promote a rec reconciliation. Julia Ward Howe, 1870, wrote the Mother's Day proclamations to call action that asked mothers to unite in promoting world peace. 1873, Howe um, compared for campaign, sorry, for a Mother's Day piece to be celebrated June 2nd. If I make mistakes in what I read, it's because I research things from the web and I write them down. And sometimes my penmanship isn't the best. But um, that's some information on the Mother's Day that I actually researched and stuff like that. And I got my mother um, some antique gifts. And I'm not going to say what they are because... Who knows if she might see this video. So I will be um, showing the gifts um, on on my channel on Mother's Day when she opens them. So that way I can share with you guys what I got with her for Mother's Day. As far as what my children and husband may or may not do for me, I'm not sure. Because obviously I'm the mom so I don't know what's planned or what's um, going to happen. So... Um, that's a little bit about the, uh, Mother's Day, the information on it, and thought I would talk about it a little bit. I know that there's people out there, um, I actually have friends out there that don't have their mothers anymore. Their mothers passed away, so this holiday can be really, really hard for them. So, if you have a friend or a family member that doesn't have their mother anymore, give them a hug, give them a message, send them, send, send them, a. a a card or a phone call or let them a token of appreciation to them to let them know that they are loved and um to let them know that you care about them and care about how they're feeling on the mother's day holiday which can be really hard if their mom isn't here anymore so i i do like i said i do have a couple of friends that don't have their mothers anymore so um, I'll be reaching out to them and I'm just passing the message along to you guys to maybe do the same thing um, for the people that you may know that don't have their mothers anymore. Um, so otherwise, that's it and I will be on with another life topic.